Leprechaun Origins is produced by WWE Films and distributed by Lionsgate. It's directed by Zach Lepovsky and the screenplay is by Harris Wilkinson in what appears to be his writing debut. The story is about four friends, played by Stephanie Bennett, Melissa Roxburgh, Andrew Dunbar and Brendan Fletcher. These friends are backpacking around Ireland, and after stopping in a small town, they are invited by a kindly resident named Hamish, played by Gary Chalk, to spend the night in his cabin, so that they can venture out in the morning to visit some ancient standing stones. Unfortunately for the group of friends, they are being used as sacrifices for a leprechaun that has been terrorising the town. In the previous leprechaun movies, the diminutive, rhyming, tricycle-riding killer creature was played by Warwick Davis, but for this all new reboot, the title role has been handed over to Dylan Postle, the man better known to wrestling fans as Hornswoggle. Now, as Hornswoggle, Dylan spent his time pretending to be a leprechaun, with his snappy green suit, matching hat and gingery beard. So he would seem like a logical choice to play the character in the new movie. So it's a real shame that they fucked up pretty much the entire thing. So let's go over the major problems first. Well, for starters, the film's called Leprechaun Origins, which would surely signify this as being a Leprechaun prequel. You know, an origin story, except the whole origin part of the story is glossed over in exposition, which means we don't get to see it. And to be honest, I'm not entirely sure why sacrificing random backpackers keeps the Leprechaun at bay. I mean, I could understand if Mr. T was staying at the cabin because he wears a metric fuckton of gold, but these guys had next to nothing. And it's the townsfolk the Leprechaun's pissed off with anyway, so the whole sacrifice thing just didn't make a lot of sense to me. Still, that wasn't the worst thing about the movie. No, the worst thing was the fact that they went to the trouble of getting a guy who dresses as a leprechaun for a living and calls himself Hornswoggle to play the lead role, only to give him a costume that made him look like the offspring of Pumpkinhead and one of those crawlers from The Descent. In fact, with a few minor script changes, this could have been called Pumpkinhead Origins and no one would have been none the wiser. In fact, a more accurate title for this movie would be Strange Little Irish Monster that sort of likes gold and isn't always that little as he sometimes looks quite big when there's a stuntman in the costume, chases some people for no real reason in a town where Irish folks don't know how to pour a proper pint of Guinness and the lead character would rather read a book than bone his hot girlfriend. Origins. Sort of. Now, you might think that these are the ramblings of a crazed leprechaun fanboy, but to be honest, I think I've only seen about three of the original movies, so I'm not exactly hung up on the series. But the thing is, at least in the originals, the writers understood that a killer leprechaun is a pretty silly idea, so they at least had fun with it. In this incarnation, the rhyming limerick speech pattern's been replaced with grunts and growls, and you don't really get to see the character that clearly either. In fact, I don't even think there's a full shot of him. There was one good moment in the film when the friends try and set a trap for the leprechaun and accidentally smash one of their own friends in the face with an axe, which was really good, but that was about it. Overall, the film is an utter crap and I managed to watch it all the way through without getting too annoyed or too bored, but it just doesn't do enough, and there's nothing here that I can recommend. As the original leprechaun might have said, As a standalone movie, it trips and falls, but as a leprechaun flick, it just sucks balls. <laughs>